You're the Deputy Minister of Communications and Media. How can you receive inaccurate information? What's up, Saz? This is your boy, Shoya Chan here. Today, we are going to make a response video. Response, reaction, it doesn't matter. It is a quite a very hot topic yesterday uh, regarding this one minister, uh, deputy minister, sorry, communications and multimedia, Datuk Zainal Zainul Abidin. Pardon me if I'm wrong. Kita nak cakap pasal benda tu, semalam dia tengah buat statement, dia telah membuat statement, he made a statement uh, in Dewan Negara say that a uh, YouTuber katanya benda tu tak ada exam pun. Dia buat video-video tu semua suka sampai tak ada line tu suka-suka je. Dia kata benda tu dia dah check dan memang sah, memang tak ada exam. Dia kata jangan mudah tertipu dengan YouTuber-YouTuber yang nak buat isu ni sebab dia orang nak nama je. Nak buat nama? Really? Bruh. What? Okey, apa apa pun kita tengok video tu dulu eh. Kita tengok video tu dulu. Dan untuk pengetahuan yang mamak juga, adik yang tersebut yang tadi ni YouTuber. Kita ada exam, kita dah check lah. Mana ini dia pandai. Jadi kadang-kadang untuk kita sebagai yang berhormat, jangan mudah tertipu oleh kadang-kadang YouTuber dan orang yang uh, untuk buat isu. Uh, jadi dia tidak ada exam kuasa tu hanya YouTuber ya untuk mengambil nama. Jadi Jap. Firstly, macam mana kau tahu yang dia tak ambil exam? Dan dengan siapa kau dapat source yang kata benda tu memang confirm tak ada exam. Double triple check. Nobody's willing to stay the night in the forest working so hard just for nothing. There must be something that they're doing. There is always a reason. And yes, aku dah tengok video-video dia yang sebelum ni and I can say that it is not scripted ke apa benda ke no. Because I myself, I make videos as well. I make short films, so this and that. So I know the pattern and everything. I mean, I don't know everything. But the way I see it, it is genuine. Dan dia memang tak ada masalah apa benda pun. Memang, she's really want to take her exams. Yeah. So, on what basis yang kau cakap yang dia ni menipu dan nak buat nama? Yeah, I mean, yes, she can show what she's capable of uh, living in the in the rural rural. Lulal, kalau bapa kau aku dah pelat ni. Living in a rural area, the way how she portray to the people here, macam mana nak survive this and that. That's a bonus for her. Apa yang dia buat tu adalah bonus untuk dia, sebab dia yang buat content. Sambil sambil tu, dia tunjuk juga sebab tempat dia memang tak ada what you call that line. It's it's a part of a vlog, a daily part of life. On what basis yang kau kata yang dia ni menipu? Get your facts right, man. Kan kau punya departemen-departemen tu pun Make sure dia betul Jesus Maknanya dia terkenal sekejap ha, Tetapi sebenarnya tidak ada exam pun ha, Dia maknanya segi hiburan yang dia nak buat kan? Jadi maknanya ini satu perbuatan Yang kadang-kadang kita kena tipu Seolah-olah kita kesian tak ada hantar-hantar lain Kata Tapi walaupun mana SKM uh, Panjang lagi ya? Panjang lagi. lagi Orang pun tak tahan dengan dia Panjang sangat Kita tengah kawasan-kawasan yang tidak ada line dan blind spot Kita minta yang berhormat Uh, malukan kepada SKM dan kita akan segera tangani masalah tersebut terutamanya dari segi pendidikan yang dan untuk kita bantu rakyat terima kasih ok wait hold up let me stop you there minta bagi tahu SKM tempat-tempat yang tak ada hotspot ke apa benda yang internet tak ada line kami akan tangani segera imagine kalau Viviona, the YouTuber tu, tak buat video macam tu Do you think akan ada ke pihak-pihak yang ni yang akan tolong immediately Tambah-tambah dalam tempat yang da- pedalaman in all these rural areas Do you think she will get that line very fast? The infrastructure, this and that, it can take uh, a lot of time to build Kalau Viviona tu tak buat video ke apa benda Do you think at her, in her area, she will get that That line, that fast Because I tell you why Masa aku duduk dekat Maluri Ceras dulu Rumah sewa Masa tu nak mohon unify Tapi memang tak ada Apa-apa lah internet ke infrastructure or anything It is all should be handled by the SKMM as well So basically Aku minta benda tu For 5 to 6 months straight 5 to 6 months straight Aku call non-stop Aku call TM Aku call SKMM Kata Infrastructure diorang tak boleh bagi Alasan diorang adalah Kabel dah penuh Port dah tak ada So kalau ada port dah tak ada Pergilah buat lagi satu Ni bukannya rural area This is bandar kot In Ceras Kalau kat Ceras pun Diorang having difficulties Nak tambah port ke apa benda Imagine those Who living in rural areas Bayangkan If it's not because of Viviona Doing that video I don't think she will Her area will have any line 
until now Kalau ada pun cipet macam ni je nak tengok benda So basically if Viviona didn't do that YouTube video I think until now her area won't have that kind of like a very uh, adequate line that she needed in order to take her exams Dia kata apa benda tu segi hiburan famous kejap Trust me, Viviona is not the kind of girl who want fame or anything. She just wanted. Dia nak belajar, itu je. Dia nak masuk Menara Gading, dia nak belajar universiti. Fame-fame ni adalah bonus je kepada dia. Dia nak ke tak nak ke? I mean it's like, yeah, when Viviona blew up, dia tak ada pun nak tunjuk muka dia all the time ke apa benda, this and that. She's still chilling though. So, lepas kejadian benda tu, um, the Deputy Minister of Communication and Media pun sudah Apologize. Dia pun dah minta maaf kepada Viviona Sebab dia dah receive inaccurate information I mean it's like You're the deputy minister of communications and media How can you receive inaccurate information? Mind fuck Dah selepas tu dia pun dah juga minta maaf kepada Viviona Okay whatever it is We hope that he can make things right with Viviona Ya yeah, semua dah minta maaf dah apologize which is Okay, there is, it's better if you can make it up something to her or anything So on Viviona's side, uh, dia kata dia kata dia kecewa dan sedih Sebab dia tak tahu macam mana nak handle all this negativity, this and that Dia nak belajar, dia budak lagi, dia pelajar lagi Tiba-tiba nak dah kena dengan benda-benda ni I mean it's like, on what, on what level are you? Sampai you nak buat dekat Belajar sampai macam ni Dia nak belajar je Itu je She wants access to education That's it And then you Aku nampak Tak ada ahli-ahli dewan lain pun Yang bangkitkan isu Viviona ni tau Cuma dia seorang ke Why? I mean why? Among all topics Why Viviona though? Do you really like to Picking up on On you for anything? Do you have a problem with you like us? I don't know I mean it's like I can't read your mind, man. Seriously. Dan ramai orang and a lot of people ask Viviona to sue the minister. But unfortunately, kalau ikut rule, memang tak boleh. Sebab apa-apa yang disebutkan dalam Dewan uh, Dewan Negara ke, memang tak boleh dibangkitkan atau bawa kepada court. So, memang Viviona tak boleh nak saman the deputy minister. But I think, kalau kita tengok personality si Viviona ni, I don't, I don't, I don't really think yang dia ni akan saman Walaupun, even if it is possible, I don't think that Viviona is going to summon the minister because Because Viviona, you're wonderful, you keep being you You go girl, you can do it I wish and pray all the best for you Viviona, cheers The moral of the story is Doesn't matter you are a deputy minister Doesn't matter you are a minister Even though you are in the minister of the communications or multimedia You have to set an example As a deputy minister or a minister Tunjukkan Contoh yang baik dan jangan sebarkan benda-benda yang tak sepatutnya, yang tak betul. Aku memang geram lah bila aku bangun-bangun baca benda ni. I mean it's like, what? So aku terpaksa sampai nak buat video ni. I mean it's like, it's not that I want to take the cloud or some shit. But aku as a youth, I really think that I need to stand up for another youth like us. If we don't stand up for youth, who else? So itu je aku nak cakap sekarang ni. Aku dah tak ada benda dah. Dia pun nak minta maaf. I hope that the deputy minister do something right to her, make it up to her or anything. And yes, Viviona, keep being you, do content. We will always support you from behind. And we all Malaysian always love you no matter what. So that's it, that is... Cibai lah outro aku. So that is it guys. Itu je yang aku boleh buat untuk... Not to say reaction video, I mean it's like uh, my response towards what is happening uh, tentang semalam. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao, sauce guys, show your sauce.